Shaped by the algorithm, y'all. Uh, why do you say her life revolves around food? Because that's all she would talk about. It's either Becky or food or YouTube. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got to do the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, but it's circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good. In our last episode of Shaped by the Algorithm, we followed Amber through the first half of 2017. We saw how she failed her New Year's resolutions one by one. We saw her swearing as if it was going out of fashion, and we saw Amber have her heart figuratively, not literally, broken. It was actually Friday the 13th. Um, Destiny broke up with me. The writing had been on the wall for some time now with Amber and Destiny's relationship. Amber appeared more interested in her views, and Destiny appeared more interested in her phone, or at least who she was messaging on her phone. Amber struggled after the breakup, coming across passive-aggressive and extremely bitter. She would also infamously start her drinking era phase. Get drunk sometimes, get it in, like I don't give a f what you do, but... Have a good life. Peace. There was a brief time after the breakup where Amber and Destiny shared a bed, but that would come to an end once Destiny started seeing Dana. And it wasn't long before Destiny would move out completely, leaving Amber all alone. At 26 years old, Amber was by herself for the first time in her life. She had always lived with her girlfriends, meeting them and moving in with them very quickly. She had agreed to move in with Destiny before the pair had even met. There had been rumours that Destiny had cheated with Dana, especially after people learned that Dana actually worked with Destiny and Amber at the same government job Amber had recently quit. Um, we met at work. Yeah, we met at Solar Springs. Right That's um, where we met. <laughs> And it was Destiny who had wanted Amber to quit working there and just concentrate on her YouTube. But these rumours of cheating were publicly shut down by both Amber and Dana. So Amber was alone, which meant she would be solely responsible for all of the household bills. Thankfully, she could easily afford the apartment on her own now that she was making good money from YouTube. Despite the recent leaked messages from Dana, which clearly showed Dana did not like Amber, it now all appeared fine between Dana and Amber. At least for now. What happened with Dana and you after you found her talking trash about you? Um, nothing really. Me and her talked about it. Uh, she sent me a really long text message and I respond to it, I feel like, very maturely. And, um... I've seen her a few times since then and it kind of feels like it never happened because I hate drama. Like I hate drama so much and I always consider Dana a friend. Uh, so nothing like really like juicy or major happened after that. So Amber, Destiny and Dana still got along very well and hung out often. Sort of. Okay, so completely change of plans. It's the next day. I actually didn't end up seeing Destiny or Dana last night. Destiny ended up not feeling very good. Despite Destiny breaking up with Amber, Destiny was never too far from Amber's mind. Oh my god, you know this is old. Because <laughs> from when me and Destiny were dating. Oh my god, it says, butthole, I love you, I love you too. Only more. Wait. What? Oh, Destiny called me a butthole. 
And then I put I love you. And then she put I love you too, only more. Wow. Amber may not have handled the breakup as well as she thought she had, but of course no one could blame her for that. Thankfully though, after a little more time had passed, Amber did appear to be feeling better about the whole breakup situation type deal. And there was one big reason why Amber was feeling better. This is her. I'm filming. No, you're not. Yeah, it's going. But Seven it's, seconds. It's not going to be a video. <laughs> what is with my hair? I don't know. Hey, guys. So I did not vlog at all yesterday. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever vlogged in front of you. Do you realize this? Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yes, Amber had moved on from Destiny, apparently. And now she was with this Becky girl. And even though we all knew she was called Becky, because Amber told us, Amber still seemed eager to let everyone know that she had a new girlfriend. So, um, tonight my girlfriend is coming over and I'm super excited. And I actually did this one for Becky, my girlfriend. And then the next day, my girlfriend's coming over. Things are changing. You guys met my girlfriend. I don't know if you guys will like mention her at all, but we'll see. When your girlfriend comes over and plays with your letter magnets, Spidey bra. <laughs> she always puts something so random and I'll leave it till the next time she comes and changes it. That's so funny. I watched Collateral Beauty on Saturday with my girlfriend. Uh, my girlfriend left her cell phone charger here. <gasps> the relationship between Amber and Becky was brand new. They seemed very happy together and the way they met was a real meet cute. How did you and your girlfriend start talking? She was actually a subscriber and she watched one of my videos and she noticed there was a lot of hate and she sent me a message and she was just like, you know, you're really beautiful. The haters don't know what they're talking about. I don't know, it was really sweet. I get a lot of messages on the daily and I don't reply to all of them because it's like impossible. <laughs> it's impossible, but I do read them all. She was one of the ones I replied to and we just started talking and we became friends and it just kind of went further than that. Obviously, she's my girlfriend now. Um. So, Amber was over Destiny. She was with Becky. Life was slowly starting to get back to normal for her. It didn't appear Amber could be single for a significant period of time, but that didn't matter. What mattered was her happiness, and she seemed very happy. A far cry from the Amber who would struggle to deal with the Destiny breakup. When Amber was with Crystal, Amber would always film her when she clearly wasn't into it and the same looked to have happened towards the end of her relationship with Destiny, filming when it was not wanted. But this time with Becky, Amber was determined not to make that same mistake again. Five days ago, I completely stopped blogging because I was with my girlfriend for one of the days and I kind of just wanted it to be about me and her. I know I could be pretty boring by myself, so I want to let you guys know that pretty soon there will be more people in my videos aka Becky <laughs> and some other people so eventually it will happen um it's just I don't want to like put the camera in her face like that so it's like gonna happen very slowly so yeah Amber was thinking clearly for once Becky's privacy was more important than any views she would get from filming her so what was it exactly that attracted Amber to Becky that's Amber to Becky no. She told me, like, you're so beautiful. Message, like, you know, she was just like, you know, you're really beautiful. We had heard what attracted Becky to Amber, but nothing about what attracted Amber to Becky. Amber was extremely hopeful for this latest relationship. She was ready to make it work and not mess things up again. Amber had already started mentioning marriage and talking as if this Becky was the one. But not everyone was convinced. Um, after you and Becky break up, will you stay in Kentucky? I love how this person literally is assuming me and Becky, me and Becky are going to break up. You never know what the future holds. <laughs> um, as for right now, I don't go into a relationship thinking we're going to break up. I'm going into this relationship um, as something I want to see get bigger and better and brighter and amazing. And hopefully that's something that never breaks up I don't know like I hate when people assume that me and Becky are gonna break up like that makes me really sad <laughs> you guys don't know us in person and such but if me and Becky ever did break up would I move out of Kentucky I really don't know um I guess when the time comes we'll see if it ever every girlfriend of Amber's had broken up with her 
time would tell if Becky would too, but if Amber didn't want yet another girlfriend to end things, she would have to make sure to stick to her plan of not filming when it was not wanted. I don't want to like put the camera in her face. One of the major complaints on Amber's videos so far this year was that her videos were extremely boring. Because Destiny has started to appear less and less towards the end of their relationship, it was only Amber in her videos. And when Destiny was out of the picture completely, things just got worse. All we were getting were videos of Amber sat at home answering mundane questions from her and babies. Hi Amber, um, are you Team Edward or Team Jacob? Love you! Really Hi Amber! Uh, what's your favourite Buffett? <laughs> Amber had promised us a couple of times now that she was going to make her vlogs more entertaining. After all, she lived alone now. She needed this YouTube money more than ever and she couldn't afford to have her audience bored by her. Amber had recently met up with her ex-girlfriend Crystal and Crystal's girlfriend Nina. Crystal was an important character in the Amberverse and it made sense to start including her and other characters in her vlogs. It made sense to visit new places as well. This is what her audience were wanting, more characters and different settings. So Amber, Crystal and Nina all headed to Tennessee and planned on staying at Nina's house for a couple of nights. Sadly, the first day they arrived, Nina had to go to work which left just Amber and Crystal all alone together. It was like old times, with Crystal clearly thrilled to be around Amber and Amber's phone again. Like way longer than I want to admit. Mario shirt! Show your shirt. What are you doing? I'm showing your shirt! Oh, you're pixelated. Anyways, I didn't even realize it's a Japanese steakhouse. <laughs> One thing Amber's audience had noticed about her was her changing personality. When we first met Amber back in 2013, she was quiet, shy and soft-spoken. Then when she was with Destiny, she was louder, quirkier and constantly swore. The swearing had began to get out of control, Amber couldn't go more than a couple of sentences without cursing, and it made watching her videos difficult for many. It did for me anyway. However, now that she was back in Crystal's company, there was no swearing. She wasn't loud and she wasn't quirky. She was quiet and pleasant, almost. She had a fun trip to Tennessee with Crystal and Nina, though getting there wasn't easy. I am very swollen, like my fingers are swollen and my face is swollen and I know it's because I have not been eating the greatest. I've been eating very sodium filled food since I have been in Tennessee and long car rides make me swollen already like my feet and my legs and stuff so i'm just feeling like super like the car ride had made her swell up especially around the eyes amber was very aware of what she looked like on camera she didn't want her audience to say anything bad about her puffy face but what could she do you can kind of tell when i'm swollen in the face because right here looks a little more like puffy it's just not cute <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day, I completely... She had drank, drunk, drank. <clears throat> she had drinking on camera after the Destiny breakup. She drinking when she met up with Crystal and Nina. And just in case anyone missed Amber having fun, she made sure to let everyone know. So some of you do not follow me on Snapchat. So for the people who don't, these were my snaps from yesterday. I just had a really good time. Yesterday was actually red nose day. So I wore a red nose for like half of a second. And that red nose actually hurt my nose so much. <laughs> like I was so drunk. I don't even know what was happening. Amber seemed to be having a good time drinking. Although we couldn't be sure if she was having a good time or she just wanted to make it appear as though she was having a good time. But at least it was something different. Amber got back from Tennessee and absolutely loved her trip. And so did her and babies. It was something different. But Amber was feeling a little tired from it all. I think I'm gonna go to bed earlier tonight. I normally 
go to bed at like 4 a.m. But it's 2 a.m. and I'm like so tired. I don't understand. I've just had... Amber hadn't made the connection that the more active she was, the more tired she would become. The one time she travelled, moved around, and actually had to do something, she fell asleep much earlier. So, not only would it be good for Amber to do more things in her videos to entertain her fans, but it would only be a good thing for her own health as well. Amber now had Becky, and was friends with her ex Crystal and Crystal's new girlfriend. And Amber was friends, supposedly, with her ex Destiny and Destiny's new girlfriend Dana. It may have looked a little strange to some, Amber only being friends with her ex and her ex's new girlfriends. But Amber actually had other friends too. Right now, I'm at Becky's house. She also lives with uh, two roommates who are like family to her. Um, and one of them, his name is Eric. If you guys saw my you now from the other day, then you uh, met him already. But he wants to do his own YouTube channel. He's been wanting to do it for a while and we all agree that he would do great. So, Say hi. hi. <laughs> so I'm gonna put his uh, YouTube down below so you guys can, you know, subscribe, watch his video. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my third one. Yes, turn up. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Rum. Okay. okay, we're gonna we're gonna switch to coconut rum, you guys. So it's something more easier since we're not doing chasers, <laughs> and we're we're yeah, <laughs> we're gonna switch to something a little bit sweeter and more lighter. So right now I'm at Hannah and Rafe's. They asked if I wanted to stay the night, so I said sure, and we went and got Becky. So yeah, you're good. <laughs> you're cute. I was on a rocky top down in the Tennessee hills. Ain't no smoggy smoke on the rocky top, ain't no telephone bills. Once I had a girl on the rocky top, half bear, other half cat. <laughs> Wild as a mink, but sweet as on the pop, I still dream about that. Rock, rocky Top, Tennessee, Rocky Top, Tennessee. I've had years of cramped up city life stuck like a So I'm still at Hannah and Rafe's and <laughs> they have some wonderful animals, I must admit. A duck. They have a few peacocks. They have some chickens because they live on a farm. So tell everyone your name. Alyssa. And tell everyone how I know you. Because destiny is... <laughs> Destiny's not my sister. <laughs> what you looking at? Jesus. <laughs> Seriously? Alright, well, I was looking at, like, Corel. Corel? Yes. Pokemon! Gotta catch them all. Pokemon. Oh my god. You can walk with me and my new child. This is your new child? This is my new child. Okay, what's her name? Uh, her name? Shelby. Shelby? No, Veronica. 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 She looks like a Veronica. She does. Yes. Veronica. There was now Becky's roommates, Eric and Ricky, as well as Hannah and Rafe. And these new friends were courtesy of Becky. Finally, Amber was making a genuine effort with her vlogs, visiting different places and meeting up with new people, and actually having fun on camera. She especially seemed to be having fun with her friend Rafe. Rafe and Becky had dated in the past but remained friends much like Amber and her exes. And having Rafe in Amber's videos only added more interest. <laughs> I used to want to be a ballerina. Oh my gosh. Okay. Be? No. So if Rafe was going to be a key character in Amber's videos, which looked likely to happen because of how close her and Amber were, we would have to learn more about Rafe. Like, what did she do for a living, for example? Do I work? Not currently. <laughs> I have back problems and uh, a lot of social anxiety, surprisingly. Hi! Look, there's my hand! I'm vlogging! <laughs> the pair would even do live streams together on you now. And despite not knowing each other for very long, there seemed to be a strong friendship there already. I don't fix it myself, I don't eat it. That's just how I do. 
Do I want to lose weight? Yes. My goal weight is somewhere around 190. Um, are y'all afraid of loose skin if you always lose weight? I am. Um, but if I, uh, Lord, if I lose weight, uh, no, no, wait, when I lose weight, I know I'm going to have extra skin, but I'm going to really, I'm, I'll have a healthier heart. I'm going to save up for like surgery if I need it. What does Nina look like? Uh, red, short hair, uh, big hips. It looks like somebody Sorry. drew on her with a sharpie. Her tattoos are from scratcher tats, like scratcher artists. I I pay good money for my tattoos. Thank you very much. <laughs> you and Nina gonna fight? I'd punch the bitch. She could come at me. I'll just take her out by the ankle. She couldn't get up. The destiny to you. No. Years. Years. Watch my goiter jiggle. Years. <laughs> No wonder the mic crackle. <laughs> Rafe, do you like Dusty? I never met Destiny. So I I mean, from what I've heard, I don't really like her, but I can't really say until I've met her, met her. But how did we meet? We met through Becky. Me and Becky and Hannah, my wife. Wife? Very nice. No, no, Becky doesn't smoke. I do. <laughs> did you write your mom? No. <laughs> my mom's dead. Good luck finding anything on her. <laughs> um, yeah. Seriously, if, like, would you help me get anything? Okay. Hannah, are you... Amber was a very happy version of herself when around Rafe. She seemed both excitable and at ease. Perhaps a little too at ease. <laughs> Wait, I like the black one better. Because black on black on black on black. <laughs> oh, of course you When would. did I become such a blackie? <laughs> Don't say that. Wait, what do you mean? That doesn't sound good. It's like emo. An emo? Okay. Well. I'm not emo, but... Amber would go on to claim that this was just an innocent mistake, that she didn't mean to cause offence by what she had said. But many were still unhappy with Amber. Black on black on black on black. Oh, of course you When would. did I become such a blackie? Don't say that. Wait, what do you mean? That doesn't sound good. It's like emo. Only time would tell if people would let this comment go. They wouldn't. All Amber could do now though was move on and try not to dwell on it. And at least we, the audience, were finally getting what we had been asking for for so long. More characters and different settings. And Amber making an effort. It was great to see Amber actually put the effort in, but she could only do so much. Becky worked in a sawmill, so she couldn't be around her all the time, and Amber couldn't constantly be around Rafe and her other friends. When it was just Amber on her own, her videos weren't nearly as entertaining. And I've also noticed that for some reason you guys aren't enjoying my sit down videos, which I find really weird. Because I've always made sit down videos and I just think it's kind of weird that like lately people have really been hating it and I just, I don't really understand why and y'all, time for me to do some laundry. Laundry soap, I use Blooming Lavender Ultimate Fresh. I never actually measure, I just kinda pour. But I'm good at eyeballing it, so. I'm just gonna put it on medium, regular. So it was up to Amber and Amber alone to make her videos interesting, but she didn't know what to do. She didn't have Destiny to drive her anywhere, so we couldn't even see Amber at Walmart anymore. She could go to some local stores close by, but on her own, it just came across lonely. No Destiny anymore, just Amber in stores by herself. She knew she had to vlog to get paid, but she didn't really know what she was doing anymore. She seemed a little lost. Becky has to work until 2 a.m. God. 
I don't know. What am I even vlogging right now? Like. Amber, when alone, mainly carried on doing what she'd been doing at the beginning of the year, live Q&As, and there was just the sense that these streams of fans telling her how much they loved her was beginning to go to her head. Someone asked me, Amberlynn, do you think you're YouTube famous? And I'm like, no. Then they said, Amberlynn, do you know that people make hate videos about you? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, do you know that people make videos about you because they like you? And I'm like, yeah. And they said, well, what do you think about that? I said, I guess I'm YouTube famous. <laughs> when Amber was alone, she would often discuss her difficult upbringing. As you guys know, I do have an eating disorder. And I don't know if you guys know, I did live in a group home for a couple years back when I was younger. It was an all girls group home. I think this Fans had heard it all before, of course, but it seemed to help Amber a little to mention it as often as she did. It may have not been very interesting to listen to, her fans had heard it all before of course, but at least her new subscribers were learning what made Amber Amber. One interesting thing Amber had been doing lately was being honest about her fears, mainly her fears regarding her health. Amber hadn't shown much concern in the past, especially when she would eat bad food over and over, and she was still eating bad food of course, but there seem to be brief glimpses of a truly honest Amber. A lot of people are worried that I have diabetes because I am showing signs of diabetes. My knuckles are super dark. I have noticed myself that right here and right here is becoming super dark. It's not happening on this one though. To the people who have been saying that I need to go to a doctor and that I might have diabetes, normally I shrug it off and I'm like, no, I don't have diabetes because I don't feel the symptoms. That's honestly just me being ignorant. I am to the point where I am worried as well, especially because of this, because I feel like I really do need to worry more about my health and love myself more so I can take care of myself more. So I'm here to apologize to all the people who were always like, Amberlynn, you probably have diabetes, honey. You need to get that checked out. I always shrugged it off and I considered it hate. I'm sure some of them were from haters, but others were from people who actually truly cared about me. I've been noticing my health and my body just deteriorating slowly but surely. Definitely, definitely becoming more worried about my weight as the days go on. So the next Amber, despite setting herself a goal at the beginning of the year to lose 100 pounds in 2017, now went back to mukbangs. This was despite telling us that she was concerned for her weight. Now Amber was seemingly over destiny, was with Becky, had new friends, was going out more and doing new things when she could, and was back to eating on camera, Amber seemed genuinely happy again. Me? Honey, I am actually doing really good. For once, I don't feel lonely. I don't feel sad. I don't feel any like negative emotions, which for me is shocking and surprising all in itself. Amber even told us that despite being back to eating on camera, she had not gained any weight, but in fact had just stayed the same. The food we had seen her eat though didn't look great, but of course we didn't see everything she ate in a day. To you guys it looks like I'm not losing weight because everything I show is unhealthy and I totally, I totally get it. I understand, you know, it's hard for people to believe anything other than what they see. I get that. I ate fried rice when I lost 89 pounds before, but... So she had not gained weight but she had not lost any either. However, there was someone who had lost weight. Hey Amber, I just wanted to know if Crystal has influenced your decision about your weight loss journey. Okay, so has Crystal influenced my decision about my weight loss journey? Uh, no. <laughs> um, I know Crystal has lost a lot of weight and I am so proud of her. Like, I love her so much and she is an inspiration to me in more ways than one. So Crystal had actually lost weight. Crystal, much like Destiny, had gained weight while in a relationship with Amber. But since they had broken up, Crystal appeared to be doing much better. In our last episode, Amber told us she was done showing her weight loss journey 
anymore on camera. And she was still set on that. I'm not sharing my weight loss journey any longer. A lot of people ask, what weight loss journey? What a shame this was. Amber's weight loss journey is what had attracted the majority of her viewers, and it was easily her most interesting subject. It was just a shame that Amber always stuck to what she said and never changed her mind. Oh, I just remembered. My weight loss. Um, I'm thinking about putting my weight loss journey, if you will, back onto the internet for everyone to watch and to criticize and maybe for me to inspire. I know there's a big percentage of people who are like, Amber Lynn, you know, keep that stuff off of the internet, like it'll be better for you. But then there's an even bigger portion of my subscribers saying, you know, I do want to see you and follow you along in this journey through your ups and through your downs. I'm not going to... The vast majority of Amber's videos were just Amber, no Becky and very little of her new characters. She had nothing else to film, so back once again came the weight loss journey. But so many people are like, Amber Lynn, you've reached 500 pounds, you've reached 600 pounds, you're trying to be on like my 600 pound life, like no. Uh, no. <laughs> I have not gained weight. I did gain five pounds from being on my period, but I have lost half of that already in the last couple of days, so I'm super excited about that. But I feel like I need to try to lose weight so I can actually lose weight because I have been staying the same. Um, she also told us that she was done ever proving anything to the haters again. And again, it was a good thing she never went back on her word. Okay, you guys, so I'm at Hannah and Rafe's and we were just on you now and everyone always says like, Amberlynn, you have diabetes and what have you. So Rafe has a little diabetes thingy. What is it called? It's, uh, a glucose monitor. And I'm like scared of needles. I made a really big deal about it. People are probably like, Amberlynn, you can suck. You're annoying. They pretty much did say that. But um, yeah, what are you doing? You're holding it for me. So I ain't got diabetes because I was freaking the out. And I didn't want her to stab me because I was like scared. I know I have piercings, it's whatever. But she stabbed me when I wasn't looking. She's just like, <laughs> and it turns out I do not have diabetes. So for the people who are like, Amberlynn, you got diabetes, I really don't. So I'm sorry for the barking dogs. Yeah. Her blood sugar was 110 after eating an hour previously. Yes. And I had a lot of rice. <laughs> and that's supposed to not Charbs. be good. Carbs. Yes. Charbs. So. Not sharing her weight loss journey, then sharing it, proving her audience wrong or feeling the need to prove them wrong, Amber had been on YouTube coming up to four years now, and she was definitely stuck in a loop. Amber knew that the £100 weight loss this year just wasn't going to happen anymore. However, she still wanted to lose something. So she went out and bought plenty of healthy food. What was she going to cook with all of this good food in the very next clip after showing us her healthy grocery haul? Okay, you guys, so I did a no-no. Um, <sighs> okay, I did a no-no. Uh, <laughs> I can't seem to figure out this here brain and like, let's just cut to the chase. This is freaking, a couple hours ago, I ordered a pizza and I ate half. Yikes. I know. I get it. But it doesn't stop there. <sighs> I also ordered a dessert. And I had two or three pieces. I don't even remember. In fact, I don't remember. Proves that there's something wrong up here. <laughs> um, I need to stop you know what i'm saying um i'm grateful i'm not gaining hella weight like that's a plus but i need to be losing weight i need to start talking about this more 
beating it into my head, putting it out in the universe. So, what I did was, round of applause for Amber Lynn. Um, I joined Weight Watchers. I just joined Weight Watchers right now. Totally spur of the moment. Um, I have a friend who's currently doing it. She's motivating me to get back on the bandwagon. You know who, you know who you are if you're- Show them the teeth, Lenny! <laughs> Being stuck in this loop of doing the same things over and over, Amber was now back to trying Weight Watchers. Yay! But like every time, something would happen that would quickly derail Amber's healthy plans. So actually yesterday, um, everything was going fine and dandy, and Becky took maybe two steps into a parking lot, and there was a pothole that she did not see and she stepped in it and fell. Um, she had eggs in her hand, she had milk in her hand, she had bacon in her hand. And um, she was just trucking along, you know, like what people normally do, not having to worry about potholes. And next thing you know, she was on the ground and she was, uh, you could tell she was in really bad pain. So we ended up having to take her to the ER. And so we took her to the ER and it turns out that she messed up a tendon really bad. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Oh gosh. Or a ligament. Actually, I think it's a ligament. Ugh, I'm really bad with names, but the doctor um, ended up putting like this cast splint thing type on it and she has to go on crutches. Um, they even said that, you know, that's harder to heal than even a broken bone. I actually broke my bone when I was, I think I was like eight. So they took off her cast type thing. Right there is like the cast part. Oh, um, but yeah, so. Okay. Sorry, that does not <laughs> hurt. Just be careful. She's milking it. You milking it? No. Amber may have thought that Becky was milking her injury. Thankfully, that was something Amber would never do. <laughs> Normally, something would happen to Amber that would cause her to give up on being healthy, but this time something happened to Becky, though it would still cause Amber to give up on her healthy goals. So, right now, I'm actually uh, making dinner. It's something super simple. A pizza, like, yeah, I'm just making this pizza. I got this from Walmart. It's a market side garlic butter cheese. I don't know. Me and Becky have had this before and we both liked it, so. Becky wanted some apple juice and some cookies. <laughs> so I walked to the store and got her some. And I got me some pork rinds because I was craving them for some reason. We're actually getting Becky something to eat for when she gets off of work. So we got her this pepperoni pizza. Everyone, what? I found something for us. What is that? It's for us to share. <laughs> We're gonna eat this all to ourselves. Yep. Oh. I'll have to get one for me and one for you. Oh, wait, so I have to eat my own? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Alright. <laughs> Amber was starting to spend more and more time with her girlfriend. They would even go away and stay at a hotel for a little romantic break, paid for by Amber. And while there, Amber ate what she wanted. But we didn't need to worry, this was just while she was on her mini holiday. It did not mean she was done with Weight Watchers. In the comment section, a lot of people are asking about my Weight Watchers, if I'm still following through on that, how I'm doing, when I'm going to weigh in, etc, etc. Honestly, I've been a little off track with the whole Weight Watchers thing, but I'm not like giving up, I'm not failing, I'm not going to cancel my subscription or anything like that, like I'm keeping it through and through. It was good that Amber was not done with Weight Watchers so soon. so. How was it going when she got back from her mini break? So at 1 p.m., my first meal of the day, we went to McDonald's. I was with Becky and some of her family, and that's where they chose to eat. Um, I wasn't going to argue about it because I definitely love their chicken nuggets. Definitely not the healthiest, we all know, but I got the 10-piece chicken nugget with a medium.
Weight Watchers was basically done before it even got going, like normal. But at least Amber and Becky were still going strong. They may have been getting along very well, but it didn't seem like they were exactly good for each other in terms of health anyway. Right now, Becky just ran into a Chinese restaurant because we ordered takeout. We actually They had eaten badly on their mini break. They had eaten badly after Becky's fall. They had eaten badly their entire relationship so far. Amber may have eaten poorly since being with Becky, but at least there was one positive change. Amber's happiness. Amber seemed much happier the more time she spent with Becky, and this happy Amber was a far cry from the Amber who had been dumped by destiny. Amber seemed much happier now, but what was also noticeable was Amber's vocabulary. When we first met Amber back in 2013, she was with Crystal and rarely swore. Then she got with destiny and the swearing intensified. And towards the very end of the destiny era, the swearing became ridiculous. Now that she was with Becky though, the swearing stopped. It came across to many like Amber was changing who she was to fit in with who Becky was. Amber didn't want to make the same mistakes of the past with Becky, but one thing audiences did notice was that Amber started to do what she did with Destiny towards the end of their relationship. Back at home afterwards, and then Becky and I are gonna go to Lexington. Um, I booked a hotel for us for a two night stay. I actually got Becky something. She wanted this wallet. <laughs> I think it's from Naruto. I don't know much about Naruto, but she wanted it. Right now we are just getting some gas. Becky had to go in. I gave her some cash for the gas. And this is the other thing I wanted to get for Becky because she's been wanting to see Rough Night forever now. So, yeah. Amber had been accused of trying to buy Destiny to save their relationship. But her and Becky's relationship was brand new. It didn't need saving. So perhaps Amber simply wanted to treat her girlfriend. Buying gift after gift, then telling us about it was very Destiny era-like. But Amber didn't want to make the same mistakes this time, did she? So it was a good thing that Amber didn't rush this new relationship like she had her previous. We are at Dollar General getting some boxes. So today I'm gonna start packing for the move. To those of you who have been asking and wondering, yes, I am moving and I'm gonna start the packing process today. Very grateful to have Becky here to help me. Amber moved in with Becky. Maybe not as fast as she did with Destiny, but it was still fairly quick. Things were moving fast. Amber and Becky hadn't been dating that long, just a couple of months and already they were moving in together. Amber was absolutely distraught over Crystal ending the relationship. Then she soon found Destiny and moved in with her. And the same thing was happening again. Just another part of the loop Amber had put herself in. By now we all knew the main part of the loop. Amber happy, something happens, Amber sad, Amber eats. And sadness was never far away. Uh, why do you say her life revolves around food? Because that's all she would talk about. It's either Becky or food or YouTube. I don't know. Oh, can someone tell me what's going on between Amber Lynn and Rafe? I'm confused. I talked to Eric, which if you guys watched the videos, Amber Lynn was playing video games with him, and I was high. I was tripping pretty hard, and I, I talked about her because I didn't feel like I knew her. Even though I had spent so much time with her, I didn't feel like I honestly knew Amber Lynn, the real Amber Lynn, and that's what we were talking about, and he went and ran his mouth, and I don't know. It's just sad because now me and Becky and Hannah, well, of course me and Hannah are fine, but Becky's not talking to us. Amberlynn wants it to be about her give, 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 and nothing in return. Yeah. Yeah, when we went to Pride, um, all she, from our house all the way to Lexington and back, she only gave us like 10 bucks for gas and we bought her water and snacks and stuff and she was like, oh, it's 10 enough? And Hannah just looked at me and I was like, yeah, that's fine. And then the next time we stopped for gas, Becky filled up the tank. So, um, why did she get mad at you if Eric didn't really know her either? She should be mad at him too. That's because Eric only told one side of the story, I'm guessing. That's just Eric. Salty, salty, salty. 
I said that I didn't know her. I said I didn't like her because I didn't feel like she was a real person. Like, I didn't actually get to talk to the real Amber Lynn. I was talking to some sort of facade. I, I said that I didn't like her. She was annoying. That she had things that I didn't like about her personality. And I may have said some names that I didn't, I didn't mean at the time. I was inebriated. I was high. And... Uh, see, that's... I wish I wouldn't have talked like that when I was high. Um, Rafe, this is amazing, and some of us have been waiting for this. The Amberlynn Reed exposed. Girl, she won't even show her ankle. There's no way she's going to be exposed. I think I, I may have called her Hamberlyn once. And, like, she just has these annoying little tics, like smacking gum, constantly talking about food, and, um, would I date Hamberlyn? No. No, I wouldn't. I would run far and fast. And in all honesty, that is exactly what I told Becky whenever I looked her up and looked at some of her stuff and I was like, girl, run far, run fast, get away from this. It's gonna be bad. And home LMAO Rafe called Al Hamberlyn. I'm dying. Anna, I'm just gonna talk about it. I don't care. Well, I know you care, but I'm just, I'm done. Amber is watching me where she's at. Mm. Hi, girl. You watching? Nice. <laughs> Isn't it mean to be saying all this? Did she affect you that badly? <sighs> I don't know if it's mean to be saying this. I, I don't really know. Do you really think Becky and <laughs> Amber will be together forever? No. God, no. Spill on Kiwi Farms. Does Amber read Kiwi Farms? Yeah, she's on there daily. Kiwi Farms just got content for days. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Somebody was talking to me on um, Snapchat, and I knew it was going to go straight to Kiwi Farms. I didn't give a fuck. Amberlynn is going to come on and cry and cry and play the victim. Kind of seems like that. Becky's a pretty good victim blamer, too. I'm not going to lie. Does she ask people permission before filming them? No, she doesn't. Uh, does she smoke? We've smoked once or twice. She's never smoked, um, cigarettes, but we've smoked weed together. Let's see. She'll be on here later tonight, boohooing. People, please record it. Let me see. I want to see all the shit she says. Uh, Rafe was saying that she doesn't like me and that, um, just all these really mean things about me that she doesn't know who I really am and I sat there days with her telling her who I was and we got to know each other it was just very easy with her it felt like and um even you guys seeing us on you now together you guys were like oh my god you guys have like a great connection like that's how I felt like we were really good friends and she completely was talking shit about me and um I know a lot of people are like well Eric was saying bad things. No, Eric told me to my face what he said. He said that, yeah, I'm a question mark. He's weary of me. He doesn't know if he likes me because he doesn't know me, which is completely true. Like, how do you know if you like someone if you don't even know them? Like, me and him never had a chance to get to know each other. But the fact that this fucking bitch Rafe, I'm sorry, I am so pissed, you guys. The fact that she, after spending so many days with me and me doing so much for her, and I will get to that in a second, how much I've done for them, for her to talk shit about me and then to sh talk shit about Becky, that's fucking horrible and that's wrong. I have done so much for them, like constantly. I have paid for gas constantly. I have given them money just to give them money because might I say neither of them have jobs. Rafe was fake as mm -hmm. and it really mm -hmm. pisses me off because I know Becky is really hurting because of this because I mean they've been in each other's lives forever. Rafe a day prior is oh my god Amberlynn I love you so much oh my god I love you so much and then a day afterwards she's talking mm -hmm. I don't even like Amberlynn. I I couldn't even believe when I went on to her You Now Today and just the stuff that she was saying that is so not true. And she's literally saying some like personal information that there is just no, that it's not right for her to be saying these things. And I mean, you guys can believe who you want. You guys can be Team Rafe all you want, but I'm just like done with completely. 
Basically okay. how it came out, what happened was me and Hannah and Rafe were hanging, or yeah, all four of us were hanging out. Uh, you and Becky were hanging out that weekend. They yeah. came over. Um, we hung out with them. And then we started talking about you. And I and I admitted this to you. I said, uh, I was like, I don't like her. And then Rafe responds with, ooh, I know you didn't like her. I knew you didn't like her. I don't like her either. Uh-huh. And I said, well, let me correct myself. I'm not going to say I don't like her. I'm just going to say I don't know her. And that was my exact words, but I told you that. And yeah, I said that you to told you. me everything. I told you that, and I said that to you. I said what I told you. The thing, the difference is that everybody's on here saying that I'm fake too, and I tattled. No, how is that me being tattled? And how is that me being fake? Who she really is? Like she legit is so fake. I have never in my life met someone who can look you straight in the eye and be like, "I love you." And then turn around, stab you in the back with some knives, and tell other people I actually don't like her. That, to me, is f***ed up. So many of you are extremely upset that I have kind of forgiven Rafe, moved on, and created another friendship with her. Rafe knows this, Hannah knows this, Becky knows this, everybody knows this. But I am the type of person that gives second chances, but during the second chance, that doesn't mean things will ever be the same. The friendship that Rafe and I used to have, or at least that I thought we had, is nothing like the friendship we have now. Sadly, I used to consider Rafe one of my best friends, but then the whole hogwash happened and no longer did I think of her like that. Her and I have sat down and talked for hours and hours and hours about the whole situation. It took me a while to forgive her, but I really, really do believe in second chances. I have actually given several people second chances and they have never turned their back on me again since then. I want to give Rafe the benefit of the doubt that she will never hurt me again like she did before. People do change and people do make mistakes. That is pretty much a human. Nobody is perfect. No friendship is perfect. Rafe has admitted that what she did was 100% wrong. And even I know that. Everyone around me knows that. And if she ever does it again, of course, I will never speak to her again. But the friendship that her and I have now is not as strong, is not as tight as it once was before as what I thought but at least her and I are now on the same common ground. She respects me more now and I respect her more now because she was able to seriously look me straight in the eye and say what I did was wrong. Not many people can do that. The last- Rafe had said some pretty negative things about Amber, but according to Amber, it was all fine now. So now that all of that situation was resolved, for now, how was Becky and Amber's relationship going? Yeah, we do. it's just, we do. you know, this is starting out. We're just having some fun for now. So many people, so many people were like, we want more Becky. So I'm, we're giving you more Becky. I do want to be in vi- videos more, you know, I'm starting to become, you know, more um, comfortable. And the comments don't bother me, you know, they actually make me laugh. The thumb and, you know, somebody left a comment. <laughs> You know, what do you keep in your second chin? And I was just started thinking about what all can I keep in there? I don't know. What I do have, you keep in your second yeah, chin? Yeah, yeah. No, I have I have so much fun with their little hate comments. I think they're hilarious because I have a very large sense of humor. She does. Large sense of humor for a large girl. <laughs> Amber knew she needed to start featuring Becky more. The fans demanded it. Amber was not always a likable character, but so far fans had no reason to dislike Becky. In fact, she was actually quite popular, coming across level-headed and quite pleasant, and it seemed like Amber and Becky were really happy together. And despite this being a fairly new relationship, Amber and Becky clearly knew each other inside and out. The first one is most likely to propose. Um. (laughs) Are you ready? Yes, go. (laughs) Are you for real? Most likely to start an argument. You. <laughs> <You're so small. laughs> okay. okay, most likely to start an argument, girl. <laughs> Fish police! Okay, most likely to go to heaven. <laughs> most likely to be a sore loser. <laughs> when and where and how? When and where and how? I feel like when I play games, like I'm playing just because it's fun. Most likely to take out the trash. What is my most favorite movie? Eternal Sunshine. 
was the name of my first dog? Okay, did you ever tell me this before? Yes. I told you what happened to him too. Roscoe. What is it? Blackie. I do not remember that. He got stolen. I remember that. He killed. What is my dad's real name? Oh, it's that one C name, isn't it? I'm not telling Clentine? you. Clentine? Clinton? Clint? Clentine? Clentine? No. What is it? It's Clee. Clee? Where was I getting Clentine? <laughs> Becky wasn't too comfortable being on camera at first, but the more she appeared, the more comfortable she became. You did really good. Okay. In the middle and towards the end, you're like, I got the story time. I think it's easier to actually sit down in front of the camera knowing that the camera is on me instead of, you know, random, hey, you're in a vlog and I'm just like, oh, sh <laughs> Yeah, about that. Like, I try to let her know when I'm vlogging and I try to give her- Which is what you usually do is you get very self-conscious but you shouldn't be, you're awesome, and a lot of people can see that. That was the main thing for Becky. She had to be prepared to be filmed. She didn't want a camera just put in her face, filming her when she wasn't ready. So, it was a good thing Amber learned from doing this from her crystal days and the end of the Destiny era. No more filming without permission. Look at this hot bod right here. Oh yeah. Oh, okay! We are at Steak and Shake, and I'm just looking. She's looking over there too. I'm not recording or no, are you? Show them your hat. Show them your hat. <laughs> Why are you being weird? Amber had always started something positively, then would eventually fail. Although this was usually with her fitness goals. But now it seemed like she was beginning to film Becky the way she filmed Crystal and Destiny. It was interesting at first, getting to know Becky, but very quickly Amber's videos went back to being dull and uninteresting again. Filming almost the same video over and over, sat at home talking to the camera. But Christmas was coming up, which Amber loved, and she would continue her Vlogmas series, filming every day through the month of December. And maybe for Vlogmas, Amber would stop making the same video over and over. Nothing screams Merry Christmas than a onion cheeseburger inside of a parking lot. <laughs> How's your food taste? These potato wedges are great. Merry Christmas. So after we pick up her nephew, we're also actually gonna go pick up some pizza. The reason why I got these is because I'm very inspired by this Instagram weight loss girl <laughs> who has lost I think it's like over 200 pounds just naturally. And I'm actually journaling. If you guys didn't know, I actually really love journaling. So I have a bunch of just like random journaling stuff. Hey guys. Guys. Hey 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 guys. Becky may have been appearing in Amber's videos now, but the videos they made together day after day for Vlogmas just seemed the same. Even with Becky's help, Amber just couldn't do what she'd set out to do, to make her videos interesting. She had tried though, but it just wasn't working. Not only had Amber gotten back to her old ways of making uninteresting videos, but now she was filming Becky the way she used to film Crystal and Destiny. So Amber may not have learned from her mistakes of the past, and it seemed neither had Destiny. She still would make the odd appearance from time to time, and when we did see her, she was still eating poorly. It seemed the many trips to the hospital had not shocked Destiny into making a positive change. 2017 was yet another wasted opportunity for Amber to make some real positive changes. She had failed to keep up with the new interesting videos, and she had begun to film Becky when Becky clearly wasn't into it. If Amber was seen as the bad guy to much of her audience, and even Amber knew this by now, then Becky was seen as the good guy. 
People could root for Becky the way they had once rooted for Amber all those years ago. What was the scariest part in your opinion? I mean, I don't want to spoil anything, so... Oh yeah, I guess we don't want to spoil. Amber was looking bigger and bigger as the months passed. Many were starting to fear for her life. Amber even told us herself she felt extremely lucky to still be with us, considering her size. The big problems this year for Amber when it came to sticking to a diet was the breakup with Destiny. What's up, slut? Hi. And getting comfortable in a new relationship with Becky. The Destiny breakup was hard for Amber to deal with and caused her to go off the rails. We would just have to hope that nothing would happen in 2018 that would mess with Amber's mind. Congrats, where will you have your wedding? In Kentucky. Yeah. We already have the place picked out and the date. Yeah. Um. It's June 4th of 2021. Why'd you for wait? Why'd you forgive Dana for doing the same thing, talking behind your back? Um, because I already knew that Dana. I mean, I was definitely shocked about it, but I wasn't close with Dana. I've never been close with Dana. I just I don't understand it, you guys. And I gave her the, this platform. I did that, and I'm not trying to be cocky and annoying about it. But it's like a part of me is like, was she using me because she likes the attention? Every time we. I, Oh my god, you guys. When we were at Pride, I can't even tell you how many times she'd be like, you want to go on you now? Do you want to go on you now? At Pride. I'm like, no, I don't. Like, I'm trying to literally hang out with my friends and my girlfriend at my first Pride experience. I really don't want to go on you now right now. Like, even Becky, like, at one point was like, Rafe, she doesn't want to go on you now. Like, stop. <laughs> When did I become such a blackie? Yeah.